<clears throat> I used to sell drugs on that street corner, and now I'm delivering healthy food. I went from destroying lives to saving lives. I used to do all the wrong things, but now I'm really excited to be doing something good where I grew up. Those aren't my stories and they're not my words, but I am proud to say that the people that spoke them have become my coworkers and my friends. My name is Mike Curtin, and while my business card says I'm the CEO of DC Central Kitchen, what I really am is a believer. I believe in the inherent goodness of people. I believe that poverty has no place in this prosperous country of ours. I believe tie-dye can still be cool. <laughs> and I believe so deeply in what we do at DC Central Kitchen that I once fasted for eight days in solidarity with the men and women in our city who are going hungry. <laughs> and I believe that too many of our neighbors are shut out of the American dream because others in our community refuse to believe in them. They refuse to believe because of the labels they bear, the mistakes they've made, tired old stereotypes, or the systemic racism that obscures their potential. DC Central Kitchen turns the tables on those corrosive attitudes by finding value in what others have devalued by believing in what an individual can accomplish given an opportunity for a good job and a fair shot. Since 1989, DC Central Kitchen has been offering those good jobs and fair shots in a noisy, loving, totally overcrowded kitchen in the heart of Washington, DC. Many people, many people know us for the 36 million meals we've cooked in that kitchen and delivered to shelters and schools. Many people know us for the 32 million pounds of food we've saved from landfills. But those efforts are really just the basis for what we do best. Teaching knife skills and life skills to individuals who have faced immense barriers to employment. Barriers like histories of incarceration, addiction, abuse, homelessness. For 30 years we have proven that with the right mix of opportunity and training and support and respect, individuals that have faced those challenges can thrive as culinary professionals and become leaders in our organization and our communities, all while helping to build the hospitality industry. An industry that understands the value and immense power of a second chance. An industry that knows nothing brings people together like good food. And that's why this industry is the perfect destination for individuals whose potential is at risk of going to waste. After all, if we can agree that wasting food is wrong, we certainly must agree that wasting human lives is unacceptable. <laughs> Many of our 2,000 culinary graduates have gone on to work with our amazing restaurant and hotel partners. They work at the Ritz-Carlton, on five-star cruise lines, and even at the White House. But we hire as many graduates as we can, too, and pay them living wages with good benefits. Because unlike many traditional charities, we are not satisfied with simply serving clients. No. We are righteous entrepreneurs in the business of creating colleagues. And we believe and our colleagues' talent and ability. And every day they turn that belief into real results. Results like 10,000 daily meals, like running one of America's premier farm to school programs, and by earning over half of our income through food service contracts. The graduates who work for us are line cooks, supervisors, mentors, culinary instructors, nutrition educators, recruiters, and database managers. I may be the CEO, but the true leaders at DC Central Kitchen are the individuals that have taken their challenges and turned them into fuel for a brighter, fairer, more equitable future. And what does it look like when we stop looking at people as problems to solve or clients to serve? 
we go from wasting their potential to unleashing their power. What does that power look like? I see it when I see someone who's been locked up for two decades being handed a set of keys and trusted to lock our facility at the end of the night. I see it when someone who for years has treated their traumas with drugs and alcohol earns a certification in mental health first aid and then teaches those coping mechanisms to young people. And working with our students to trade past challenges for future success isn't just a feel-good thing. It's good business. We are saving taxpayers money while increasing the number of taxpayers. And making that flip from incarceration and poverty to employment and paying taxes helps DC Central Kitchen produce a 450% return on investment, totaling $70 million in, in economic and social benefits in our community every year. At DC Central Kitchen, it all comes back to belief. We believe in people until they believe in themselves. And when they figure out how to do that, they chart a bold new path into the future for themselves, their families, and our organization. A path that they have defined. A path that they own. And that, my brothers and sisters, is how we do it. That is how we win. Like I said, I'm a believer. And I hope now you're a believer too. Because believe me, we have a lot of work to do. And I really hope we will do it together. Thank you.